everyone, it's Julia. So today I'll show you 12 different eyeliner variations using liquid or gel liner, pencil and eyeshadow. This first technique is the straight line, which is the easiest and most basic design. So for this you can use a liquid liner or a gel liner with an art brush. Simply draw a very even line with your product right above your lashes and make sure to cover any gaps. Once you've mastered this technique, you can use this as the basis for many other eyeliner designs. Next is the classic wing eyeliner, which is another really popular design. Using the straight line as a starting point, you want to pull out a line away from the outer part of your eye, angling upwards toward your brow. Use the angle of your lower lid as a reference to guide you. Then connect the outermost part of the wing with the base, creating a triangular shape. This part should be completely filled in with the eyeliner and have a smooth finish. For the double wing, you can create a second line either on the top or on the lower lash line. I've opted for the bottom lash line here. So your second line should be parallel to the first one and connect onto the lower lash area. This look is a bit more eye-catching than the classic wing and can be combined with so many different colors. For an Arab eye look, connect the eyeliner on the innermost part of your eye so that the line on the top and the bottom meet up into a very sharp angled point. Your entire eye should be rimmed with the eyeliner and preferably also on the inner waterline. Now this design can take a bit of practice so don't get too frustrated if you don't perfect this on your first try. Just keep on practicing. Sometimes a stark contrast can be very eye-catching. So for this technique, use a white or a cream-colored cold pencil and line your inner waterline. This will make your eye appear larger and also brighter. Now if you're rocking a double wing, extend the white eyeliner outwards between the two black lines. Now this design is for all those who love to experiment with their makeup and really stand out from the crowd. You can do so many cool designs with liquid liner, so here's just one variation. You start with a classic wing and then where the wing ends, arc a line inwards to your crease. Then you can smooth out the shape a bit and create a curved shape on the inner part of the design so that it looks a bit more streamlined. This eyeliner shape can look particularly interesting when you use colorful eyeshadows. The 60s flick is similar to the classic wing, but there are some differences. First of all, the eyeliner is much thicker all around, and the wing at the end is not very far extended. So rather, you want to angle it up much steeper towards your brow and then connect it in a thick line to the base. So it almost looks a little bit like a sailboat from the side. Does that make any sense to you? So instead of pulling out the wing very far, just pull it more upwards rather than out. Pop is a really fun and easy way to add some color to your eye makeup. So just grab a colorful liquid or a gel liner and draw a thin line of that color on top of the first eye line you made. Honestly, you don't even need to wear loads of colorful eyeshadows with this because just with that second line of color, you're already making a really fun statement. So it's also really fun to experiment with different colors and find out which two colors look cool next to each other. So let's move on to some techniques using pencil. So to tight line and water line, it's easiest if you grab a coal eyeliner that stays well on the innermost part of your eye. 
To tight line, gently pull your lid upwards and apply the cold pencil on the inner part of your lid base. This will really make your lashes look a lot thicker. And to waterline, do the exact same thing on the lower inner lid. Now if you have small eyes, I would try to avoid using a dark color here because it can make your eye look even smaller. So if that's the case, just use a lighter color. To create a smoky, smudgy look, use a soft, cold pencil that doesn't tug on your skin. So gently apply some of that product on the top lid, sticking really close to your lashes. Now it doesn't have to be super neat. Next, you wanna grab a pointy brush like this and smudge out that line in soft, circular, and side-to-side -side motions. Your lash line should be the darkest and then the color should slowly fade out from there. Repeat this technique on the lower lash line for a super quick, smoky eye effect. feline look, grab a piece of regular scotch tape and apply it to the outer part of your eye. It should angle upward toward your brows. For this technique, you don't necessarily have to apply the smudgy liner on the bottom lid. Then grab a black or really dark eyeshadow and lightly apply this with a brush, working the product into the black eyeliner below. And you want to pull the eyeshadow outward toward the tape for a smoky and blended effect. You can also apply some of the shadow on the lower lash line. Then when you're done, pull away the tape revealing a perfectly straight, clean edge. This will elongate your eye shape for that dramatic feline look. This last technique will be a glossy, smudgy eyeliner for that grunge look. Just grab a clear lip gloss, but make sure it doesn't contain any menthol or eye irritants, and then dab some of it on top of your smudged eyeliner. Use your finger to work in the product. Now, this will crease and smudge over time as you blink, but that's actually the effect that we're going for, and it'll only look cooler and edgier, especially for photo shoots. So thanks for watching, everybody. Please like this video with a thumbs up and leave me a comment below, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.